Hey, welcome to another History Masterclass on the Industrial Revolution. My name is Mr. Saligaris, and today we're going to look at cottage versus factory production. In our previous video, we looked at the Agricultural Revolution, and in our following videos, we're going to look at transport, child labor, industry, and making the world a better place. Okay. Cottage versus factory production. Before the Industrial Revolution, textiles were important for clothing, but the problem was that they were extremely expensive. Textiles would be made in cottages by spinners and weavers. Spinners would spin cotton on spinning wheels and woven on hand looms. This was a really slow process, which meant that availability of the products uh, was quite low, and that meant that they became quite expensive and generally not many people could afford them except the quite wealthy. During the Industrial Revolution there was quite a few developments um, and inventions that sped up that process and increased the production rates of those textiles. That was mostly due to the availability of cotton and new technologies for production and transportation. The first one in 1733 was the flying shuttle invented by John Kay. That allowed weavers to make larger fabrics at a greater speed, increasing the demand for yarn. The next is the spinning frame or the water frame invented by Richard Arkwright in 1768. This water frame combined rollers and spindles to then increase the production rates and the amount of wool that could be spun and then used uh, in the weaving process. Samuel Crompton improved that process again by combining that roller and that spindle of the water frame uh, to invent what was called the Crompton's Mule. Arkwright, the developer of the water frame, improved it further by adding a steam engine to his Crompton's Mill. That was in 1785. All of these things are working towards increasing greater production rates and higher yields um, of textiles. This meant greater profits as larger quantities of the materials could then be produced. This led to a greater production and demand for machinery. In 1813, there was 2,400 powered looms, um, like the ones that Arkwright had developed. In 1829, there were 55,000 of them. In 1859, there were 224,000. Um, in 1850, there were uh, 1,800 factories and 328,000 workers uh, in this production process using those powered looms. Okay, so hey, thanks for watching this video. Let's just summarize what we talked about here. Uh, we've learned that over the um, Industrial Revolution, there was a movement away from cottage production of textiles to the factory production uh, because of the development of technologies and the availability of things like cotton. Okay, these all increased the quantities to be produced and also the profits that the textile industry could make from it. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and stay tuned for our next video in this series uh, on transportation during the Industrial Revolution. Hey, thank you for watching.